It's a pair of African hawk eagles just on top of the knobthorn tree. Now remember this is live and interactive. It's happening right now from South Africa as well as from Kenya where you've already met Scott. You can hashtag Safari Live with any of your questions. Now how cool is this? Mr. and Mrs. African hawk eagle in a tree. Now I can hear some very soft sort of chirpy noises and I wonder if they're coming from that nest because it doesn't sound like a bird that I know so they could have young in there it's about time for the breeding season let's see if we can hear it if you guys can maybe hear it can you hear it Seth? I can yes Isn't that amazing well, it might be a little bit difficult to hear of course because there's quite a bit of wind out here in the sands today. But I just think that this is very special. Now, I can't remember who found the African hawk eagle nest. It was quite some time ago. And we've been popping past here every now and then, but sadly we haven't been having much luck. Every time I have come past here, they haven't been sitting on the nest. I think it was with Sebastian a while ago when we were talking about how we wish we could see inside the nest. We wish it was a little bit lower down. But I'm sure there might be a chicken there. Now, typically they will lay two eggs, but whether both of them are su will survive, I suppose it depends on the parental care and how good of parents they are. Obviously, it's quite tough going in winter. There isn't much around, and they're typically feeding on rodents. They'll catch lizards and things too, squirrels. They'll go after anything that they can. I think there are chicks in there. I think that is them making that noise, but it's virtually impossible to see. Should we try and reposition and see if we can't maybe get a view on the other side? You see, obviously eagles don't make the neatest nests, as you can clearly see over there. Typically they sort of platform nests, some built on tops of trees, some in the forks of trees. Maybe if we go around, we can get a view into the nest from a different angle. gonna go up and around my oh, birdies but well, they're not big eagles either they're fairly small I would say almost about the same size maybe slightly bigger oh now it's gonna be tough for the Sun oh, we're not really gonna win I reckon the best time to actually come to this nest is might be early in the morning when you don't have the Sun glaring sort of into you no I don't think we're really gonna get another view I'm afraid we can, can try. we can try but I don't think it's gonna be much better I think if we come here first thing in the morning, the spot that we're sitting in now, the nest sort of seems to be quite untidy. And maybe there's a little gap. So you can just see the adult's head. Now, Kestrel Fox, you're wondering if the hawk eagles use the same nest every year. Most eagles will have maybe not just one nest site but a couple of them and they can rebuild them as they go and keep strengthening them you can see is that a chick or is that just sorry i just thought i saw something but it's spider webs i'm trying to stare into the monitor but there's quite a glare some feathers and some bits of grass and things but i can't see the movement on of a chick unless one of the adults is actually sitting down up on top of them but it is almost impossible to see inside there. Wouldn't that be amazing if I could climb all the way to the top without disturbing them, trying to figure out who exactly is inside there. You see, siblicide is also very common amongst the African hawk eagles, so, you know, something like that could have happened already. We don't really know, of course. We can't see what's going inside, which is difficult. But we'll we'll carry on. Maybe we'll come back a little bit later once the sun has decided to set a little bit further to the west. It might give us a better chance to look into that nest. Let's go across now to Tristan so he can officially say hello.